We begin this hour with some breaking news coming in from Toronto Police. They have just released this security camera photo of a suspect in yesterday's Yorkdale Mall shooting. 20-year-old Zion Sankar Bahari is wanted for discharging a firearm with intent. He was last seen yesterday in the Warden and Steeles area. Police say he is armed and dangerous. It's been more than 24 hours now since those shots were fired inside the busy Yorkdale Mall behind me. And uh, as you can see, it is business as usual, but for those who witnessed the gun violence tonight, some are criticizing how the mall handled the emergency situation. When it first happened, the first shot, yeah. there was a lady with a baby in a stroller and she was knocked over. Yeah. And, the, and she literally grabbed her baby. And just took off. Exactly. So I think that there should be some kind of preparedness plan because this should not have happened. Two shots rang out in the mall's east side near a Starbucks around 2.15 yesterday afternoon. Police say the altercation began between two groups of men when someone pulled a gun. Luckily, no one was hit by the bullets. But chaos quickly unfolded. People were going everywhere. I mean, there, there was chaos. People didn't know where to exit. The alarm of the security went off, I think, about five minutes after the event happened. At Hilvia Campos, who works at a patisserie about 100 meters from where the shooting took place, told our cameras that no one, including employees, knew what to do. So you think the mall needs a, a separate plan? Definitely, yeah. And at least, they, especially for people who work in the mall, they should have them prepare right. in, in case of emergency what to do. We didn't know what to do. I mean, I literally had people rushing in my store, and I didn't know how to keep them safe. And I honestly, I froze for a second. We reached out to Yorkdale by email and phone asking if they have an emergency protocol in place for an active shooter. We also asked about lockdown procedure, other security measures, and what shoppers are supposed to do in the situation. The only person we were able to reach was someone with Yorkdale Security. They're not going to disclose that to anyone. Uh, she's not willing to speak to media. But the questions I have for you are more in line with security and safety protocols, emergency protocols, and nothing to do with the investigation. I don't have an email for her or a number for her. She does not want to be contacted. We then received this email saying, Toronto Police have asked us to refer all media inquiries to them. Yorkdale will not be commenting on yesterday's incident. So we called police and got a different story. We were told that Yorkdale is free to speak on their own safety protocols. This should not have happened. It should have been handled better. Now, the mall did do a multi-million dollar upgrade to its security system about four years ago after a couple of shootings, including a murder that happened around the restaurant of Joey Yorkdale. Uh, back then, I was told that the new surveillance system was comparable to something that you might see in a casino. The new system also had the capacity to track some of the license plates on the vehicles moving in and out of the parking lots.